Growing concerns about the overcrowding and outdated Anoka County Jail led to a public forum this week addressing safety, space, and increasing maintenance costs. CTN's Jordan Rylance explains how the jail and justice system assessment could lead to future improvements. I had my eyes ripped violently wide open to see just how bad the struggles that our, our team was facing on a daily basis. Anoka County has had a jail since 1961 and since 1983 that jail has been housed here at the Anoka County Government Center in Anoka. But after 34 years of operations, some improvements are needed to the antiquated facility. Even in the early 80s when it was designed and built, it wasn't designed to accommodate uh, more than 138 inmates and currently we're, we're uh, housing about 238 inmates and uh, we're typically beyond capacity so we're actually shipping our inmates out sometimes up to four other counties uh, which creates its own set of logistical challenges. For several years the Anoka County Jail and Justice System has struggled with the efficient and safe processing of individuals due to facility design flaws. Current issues plaguing the jail include inadequate bed space for inmates, increasing maintenance costs, safety concerns, and a greater number of inmates with mental and physical health issues without the appropriate cells to keep them safe. Sheriff James Stewart contacted the National Institute of Corrections to initiate an assessment of the facility, and just three months after the request, they came to Anoka. The facility footprint uh, is very difficult to, to work with, being a, that it's a, a rectangular uh, uh, footprint, and so you know, the ability for them to do anything uh, is, is a bit of a struggle. Landlocked and out of space, the downtown Anoka facility is running out of options. We've tried to uh, make updates and make those upgrades in order to improve safety within the constraints of this current physical plant, but we also recognize that this plant is Again, uh, very old, very outdated, and the year it was designed, it was an antiquated design. It's just never been designed to meet the needs, current or future, of Anoka County. For CTN Community Update, I'm Jordan Rylance. Sheriff Stewart says the county has established a team made up of criminal justice and mental health professionals who will tour jails and other jurisdictions, present needs assessment information, and determine options for the future. It could be up to five years before a design plan is determined and a new facility plan is presented to voters.